Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to see and talk about menu bar, menus and sub menus. I'm going to show you how to create a menu bar, how to add a menu to your menu bar and then how to add sub menus to your menus. And we will take an example. We will actually create the menu bar for a notepad editor. Okay, so we will do that using Java graphical user interface. Start without delay. All right, so this is how my project is structured. I have my main class, which is containing the main method. And I have this line of code that is creating the frame. I have the my frame class and here I am setting the various attributes of frame and I'm, I have put that in the constructor here. All right, so now what do we need to create a menu bar? Okay, so we need a Java class called J menu bar. Okay, so I'm gonna declare that globally because I will use the action listener later on in this uh, particular example. But for now, let's create our menu bar. Outside of the constructor, we're gonna declare an instance of a menu bar and I'm gonna call it menu bar. And I will also need a menu. So let me import the menu bar class first and then I will add a menu item. So I will say J menu and I will call this file. So as I told you, this example is actually gonna be for us to develop or to create a menu bar for a notepad okay so in your notepad in your menu you have a file you have um, edit you also have help like this okay let me import so here i am declaring three menus and then i also need some uh, sub menus or, or some menu items so i'm going to say j menu item and i will also say copy cut paste select Oh, and then semicolon. So let me import the Gmenu item class. Uh, so for now, that's it. So let me come inside the constructor. I will start by instantiating my various GUI components. So I'll start with the menu bar. So menu bar, call new Gmenu bar, and I'll leave it like this. I'll instantiate the file, say new Gmenu, semicolon. Let me copy this, paste like this. So the other menu I had was edit. And then the last one was help. So if you want, you can actually add, you know, another menu. Let's say, for example, um, you say window like this. So all we'll have to do is to come down here and say a window. Okay. So we need to instantiate our uh, menu items. So J menu items as well. But before I instantiate my J menu items, let me set the text for my menu. So I'll say here file, and um, this will be edit. Here I'll say help, and then this one will be window. Let me simply put help as the last menu. So now our menu items. So we say copy equal new J menu item. Then we say copy. You put that inside the double quotes. Now let's copy paste so this one will be cut we'll set the text to cut this will be paste then we will set the text to paste as well this will be select all then we will set the text to select all so now if we want to add our menu bar to the frame we will say this that set j menu bar and then we'll pass in menu bar let me run i need to say this that add menu bar nothing is showing so i'm gonna start by adding the various menus to my menu bar so let me say menu bar that add file let me run this still not showing what if i copy this set j menu bar paste it down here and then run all right so that's it so you could see the difference this set j menu bar needs to be added right after the this that add menu bar okay for it to work let me set this as a comment and run so you can't see anything let me say menu bar that add here and run yeah so now it's showing so i'm gonna add the various menus to my menu bar so this will be edit window and help now let me run yes so now you can see the various 
menus showing in my menu bar. So I need to add the menu items. So here the menu items are going to be used as sub menus. So I'm not going to add them directly to the menu bar, but I'm instead going to add them to the menu. So I'm going to say uh, for the edit menu, I'm going to add copy menu item. So copy like this and then semicolon. What else do I need to add here? Uh, I will need to add cut. The next one will be paste and the other one will be select all. So now when I run and if I click on edit, yeah, now you can see the sub menus showing. Okay. So you know what, what we, we can also do is that we can actually add, let's say for example, that here, instead of adding window directly to the, the menu bar, we can say that we want to add it to our menu and that will be help that add window like this. So if we do it like this and then run and when we come to help click, now you can see window. And also as you can see, it's having um, a narrow here just to let us know that this is actually a menu that we can also add some other uh, menu items to that. Let's say that we comment this uh, edit that add select all and um, say that we want to add it to window. So we simply say window that add select all and then semicolon when you run. So when you click on help, when you click on window here, now you can see select. So this is actually what you can do if you want to have some multiple levels of drop down menus. You see here is a menu. You can add a menu uh, to your menu and then you can add your sub menu, your menu items as I have done it like this. But as for this example, we will um, leave it like this. Okay, because we are trying to design a, a notepad menu. So we have file, we have edit, we have a window, we have help. If you click on edit, you can see copy, cut, paste, select. We can also add some menu items to the other menus here. But for the sake of this video, we will leave it like this. Or let's say we'll come here and say new file. And then we will instantiate that here. So we'll say new file and this one will be new file. We will come to here and simply say file that add and inside the bracket we will say new file. So that now when we run our program and when I click on file, you can see new file. When I click on edit, see copy, cut, paste, select all. So one other thing that we need to add, what we want to do is that uh, we need to add text area. So let me come here and I will say J text area. We we'll call it text area, import the J text area class. Then come to our constructor and say text area for new J text area. Um, we will set the bounds for this particular text area. So text area that set bounds 25, 300, and then 300 like this. Uh, let's come down here and add this particular text area to our frame. So we we'll say this at add text area. Now, when you run, so you can see a particular text area here. So what we want to do is that if the user type some text in the text area and comes here, clicks on edit and say cut, for example, our program needs to be to needs to be able to cut that particular text. And if you say paste, it needs to be able to paste that. If you say copy, if you say select all, it needs to be able to select the text uh, contained in the text area. Okay. So let me fix the alignment. So I'll say five, five, three, sixty, three, twenty. Okay. So what we have to do is to actually implement the action listener. So we will say implement action listener. So as usual, import the action listener class and add on implemented methods. And then we are going to add the action listener to our menu items. So we have um, these menu items here. So all we're going to do here is going to be to say cut and add action listener this. So for this video, we're going to add the action listeners for these four menu items. So we say like this. The second one will be copy. This will be paste. And this one will be select all. Yeah, so these are the action listeners. Um, We can add for new file if you want. And then let's come in the action performed method and say if um, so we want to say if the source of the event is any one of the menu items, so action event EVT. So 
in here we will say if evt that gets source is equal to cut okay so that's the name of the first action event that we want to do and in here we want to say text area that cut all right so if the user clicks on the button cut here so our program needs to cut the text written in the text area so we will continue so paste here paste here and then paste again so now we say if event is the source of the event is copy so the user the system must copy the text in the text area if it is paste it must be able to paste that text and if it is select all program must be able to select all so now let's run our program and see if this is working and i'm gonna type some text i'll say text here please all right so now if we want to see that our program is working let's click on edit so the first thing we have to do is to select the text that we have in the text area so once it is selected let's say that we want to paste that uh, we want to cut it we we'll click on cut here now you see the text has been cut and then we want to paste it we click on paste now it has been pasted let's say that we want to copy it we need to select it first and then we copy like this and if we want to paste it let's come here and then paste it again here so now you can see the text has been pasted we can paste it a couple of times as well okay so that's basically how we can maybe create the menu bar and then the edit functionality of a notepad using a j menu bar all right so now if we want to actually determine or define the action event for our new file menu item um what we need to do let me run and let me explain to you so you see here when you click on file it says new file normally when you click on new file we're supposed to get a new notepad all right so that's what we want to do i will simply come here and say um i will copy this paste and say if the source of the event is new file, then I'm going to say what will happen here. What will happen here, we are going to output a new frame, a brand new frame, okay? So in order for us to do that, we will need a second frame. So I have my second frame here. I have created a second class that is extending the J frame. And what I need to do is to simply copy some of the code I have here in my my frame class and i will paste it inside the constructor of the second frame let me copy this as well i'll paste it here i'll change the title maybe say new file for now i can remove these action listeners i don't need them new file all right so this is the second frame so what i want to do is that when the user clicks on the new file menu item i want this the an instance of this second underscore frame to open all right so let me come to the my frame class here down in the action performed method so if the event source is new file i want to say create an instance of second underscore frame like this and then semicolon so let's try this let me run and when i come here and click on new file there you can see i'm having a second frame that is actually shown here so this is the first one and now here is the second frame okay so i can also say that if i open the second frame i want this particular frame the first frame to disappear so i would say this that dispose semicolon so that now when i click on new file here now we can see the first frame has disappeared so this is a new file the text that we set in the text area and then the title is new file and the other difference that we can say okay let's say that the first frame is resizable for example but the second one is not so now when i run you can see i can resize the first frame here okay so let me click on new file so now this is the second frame it has opened a new frame notepad frame but this one is not resizable because if you look at the second underscore frame class here we set resizable to false okay guys so that's it on how you can use jmenu 
J menu bar, J menu, J menu items, how to create menus and sub menus and add them to the frame. And uh, we also could see in this video how to create an edit functionality of a notepad and a new file functionality of a notepad as well. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.